So you're ready to take out your first Bitcoin loan at btcpop.co. That's great to hear. This video is put together to make sure you're ready and to guide you through some of the key steps towards getting funded. The first step is to make sure you understand Bitcoin loans. BTC Pop consists mostly of Bitcoin loans and lending in Bitcoin is different than lending in the standard fiat money you're used to. This is because fiat money is inflationary, which means that it's not backed by anything and governments can print as much as they want. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is deflationary, so there will only ever be 21 million, which makes it increasingly scarce and more valuable. What this really means for you is that Bitcoin loans generally become harder to pay back over time, whereas fiat loans tend to become easier to pay back over time. So it's important you make sure your investment or loan remains profitable for you, regardless if the Bitcoin price increases significantly or not. So it's best to only loan Bitcoin if your profits are in Bitcoin or you fully understand the risk and can handle the volatility. It's also probably best to avoid Bitcoin loans if you don't fully understand the risk of Bitcoin or you're not prepared to pay an extremely high interest rate. It's important to remember Bitcoin is a young developing technology, so it's volatile now, but in the future it'll become more stable and easier to use for loans. So if you're still good with taking out a Bitcoin loan, the next step is to head over to btcpop.co and sign up. Remember, dealing with cryptocurrency requires high security, so head over to the security tab right away and set up two-factor authentication and other precautions. For more information on this, check out our blog post on setting up a secure account. Once you've created your account and looked around, the next step is to get verified. Verification is a necessary process which connects your identity to your BTC Pop profile. Verification consists of a few different tasks. First, we'll be entering and verifying your identity and your address. This can be done with pictures of your government ID and a utility bill with the matching name and address on it. However, if you're in a high-risk country or you have a high IP risk, you will also be required to do address plus verification, which is a physical letter with a code on it that is mailed to you. This is in order to help prevent spam loans from untrustworthy borrowers. The next step is to connect your cell phone. This is important as it can act as a backup device to be used for two-factor authentication. It also means collectors can give you a ring if you choose not to pay. To make sure it's actually you, you'll be required to take a selfie of yourself holding up a specific code. This helps us match your face to your identity picture. Then, to make sure you're alive and kicking, BTC Pop also requires a short video be taken of you holding a different code and saying your name out loud. Following these steps, you're ready to take out a loan. But in order to get funded, it's highly recommended to verify all categories possible. This includes submitting recent pay stubs, as well as connecting all your social media accounts. BTC Pop currently verifies Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus accounts. Make sure you read the directions during this process, as there are strict specifications for document submission. The fourth step to taking out a Bitcoin loan is building reputation. BTC Pop is a reputation-based lending platform that is also very community-driven. When you are asking for a loan, you are trying to convince the community to invest their hard-earned Bitcoin in you, and you are staking your reputation that you will pay it back. One of the best ways to grow that reputation is to become part of the community yourself. Some good practices to reputation building are to set a profile picture so people recognize you and invest alongside the community, even if it's a really small amount, to learn how the process works. Another very beneficial thing to do is to port over some of your reputation from other platforms by linking and documenting your ownership to that account. Some examples of high value sites to link your reputation to are BTC Jam, Bitcoin Lending Club, LocalBitcoins.com, and other reputation-based sites like eBay. Now it's time to actually create your listing and take out a Bitcoin loan. At BTC Pop, there are multiple ways to borrow Bitcoin. I'll focus on the standard loans, but they're all worth looking into. Custom personal loans are the most popular and probably what a beginner would use. I'll share some tips to get funded, with the number one tip being that collateral is king at BTC Pop. Collateral is peer-to-peer -peer shares or altcoins that you lock away until the loan is repaid. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is quite risky, so you will find that lenders want collateral to back up investments until solid reputations are built, much like fiat banks. 100% collateral or more is recommended for your first or early loans. Otherwise, start small. 
really small, like 0.01 Bitcoin small. You won't get funded and you will likely get discouraged if you try and start too high. Some other solid advice is to write out a very good, well thought out description and promptly answer the questions from the community. If it doesn't get funded, don't worry. You just need to sweeten the deal a little bit for investors. You can do this by asking for a smaller amount, adding collateral, or listening to whatever else they suggest. Once funded, the most important step comes. Paying back your loan. Late payments hurt your reputation a lot, so make sure and pay attention to the time and time zone of the due date and have your coins ready ahead of time, or pay ahead of time. Investors don't like excuses, and you will be charged late fees. Most importantly, though, is to just make...